Yes, I have a friend who is suffering from AIDS. Actually, my neighbor has AIDS. Well, I live in a neighborhood that a lot of people have AIDS. Yeah, one of my cousins has AIDS. Actually, I had a brother with AIDS. My cousin has AIDS and yes. she died from it. And she has a little daughter who died after. And her husband died after the daughter. Of course, I have, we have students in school with AIDS. I have a child who is HIV positive in my school. Listen, children today no fun, cause they have no parents, extended families for, they can't help them no more, 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 a punch dropping out of school. The goals of the contest are to increase the awareness about the disease in the eyes of children, thereby reducing the stigma attached to the disease. Let's all remember. The virus is the enemy, not the people who have it. Hello, everybody! Yeah. Yeah. We welcome you. We're going to have so much fun this morning because we want you all to listen to all the lyrics, all the drama that's going to happen. Are we having a good morning? Say yeah, yeah! yeah. This morning is about love. We preach on love this morning and we thank the Ministry of Education so much for being involved and we thank the U.S. Embassy for being so much involved. We think this is so important and we have to break the stigma of HIV AIDS virus. We have to break that stigma because we have to practice more love. Let me hear you say more love. Right. Are you ready for the competition? especially adversely affected by HIV and AIDS. So what better age group is there than children to address this most urgent challenge than children themselves? The, the thought led to each school having a competition to choose its representatives at the district level. Each district having a semi-final and a final. And so the national finalists, the, the national finals today, saw the national finalists having already won a competition in their district. So they came away from that competition with a trophy and a first prize of $1,000 in cash. There used to be great friends, Cherry and Donna, and people could not see one without the other. But since Cheryl contracted HIV, Donna treats her like a scourge. I can't understand this attitude that now begins to emerge. Show her your sympathy. Give her your support. You wouldn't get HIV from laughter and whole talk. You must try your best to make her but never ever concede Only then you will realize It's love that she really needs So offer your shoulder To ease this drama And do not abandon friends In their darkest hour Some of 
the other messages in my song is AIDS don't discriminate because it does happen. AIDS, um, doctors does have it, lawyers does have it, teachers does have it. It's not only people who on the streets or anything does have it. Everybody does have HIV. I am a young mother, a daughter, a sister, a wife. To reduce HIV AIDS stigma, I shall dedicate my whole life. AIDS victims don't cry out for mere sympathy. We just seek for acceptance from our society. We are still God's children, bright persons like you. So why don't you employ us so we can work to teach all your children, teach them healthy lifestyles. Talk to me, don't show me scorn for my life is already torn. A victim of HIV, I play the tune to show me your sympathy. Right, this song is about AIDS, you understand? Because this disease what's going on right now is a very dread one and everyone has to look out for it because it do not come in paper bag. You helped me to take my victims' names, humiliate them, scorn them, dehumanize, drag them, mock them, ostracize. You helped me to give them a stigma. I, I destroy their bodies, but you, you kill their psyche. The message of my piece is um, that we look, we look at people who have AIDS as if they're bad people and as if they're not as deserving of life as we are. And by doing that, we are not really addressing the problem of AIDS. They said they wanted a verse or song or rap or anything like that, so we mainly combine it. We came up with the um, old mass. It hurts when you call me names. I cry when I'm excluded from games. I feel pain when you talk about me behind my back. Well, I am the HIV victim and I'm most mainly trying to tell everybody else, don't shun anybody with HIV, don't treat them like trash, because there's like everybody else, everybody, all of us are humans, all of us are people. But what gives you the right to refer to me as the aged child? Do you think I woke up this morning and decided that I wanted HIV AIDS? I most certainly did not. Don't judge me, you don't know. I didn't plan for this to happen. I didn't want this horrible disease. And now that I've got it, I have to deal with it. It's actually a monologue. It's a, how do you look at a child with HIV AIDS? It's really to interact with the children, with the people who, who are affected with HIV AIDS and how it affects them and how you could react to them if you meet a person with HIV AIDS. Look at me, I am only a child. If I were your child, would you still look at me and turn up your nose? I see that look in your eyes. I don't live on a toilet seat. I get me from someone's hand or feet. Don't like to swim wrong in water. It's really a blood that I'm after. Ah. Don't you take them on, you know. I don't live with mosquito boy. If you really want me near, go and live without a care. Peace and love. It's the same thing. Well, mostly to tell you about how people should have love, no matter what's about AIDS. People should have kindness to people, although they have AIDS. And they should be, we are all still one family, and we should know that in TNT. I'm doing a, a rap. It's about the AIDS stigma. I'm put in a position that I got the AIDS, and ways how I could stop it and talk to others. When I was about 10 years or so, just a little boy, my heart was filled with love, filled with so much joy because I had my friends and my family together. Feel out of the world, light as a feather, but then it had a style, going on in school, having a girlfriend seemed to be cool, so eventually I got one of my own, but she mainly liked me for my cell phone. After a year, we got much closer. Every evening she, she came, came over. over. 
had it a hug and we kissed too. To me it was like a dream come true. But one day she came to spend the night. I don't know what happened when we turned off the light. Can't remember what we had done. But the next day my virginity was gone. Now my parents they want to kill me cause the doctor say I have HIV. My mother don't even drink from my glass. Nobody talk to me when I go to class. Even when I walk people keep their distance. Just for a mistake yeah, that I made yeah, once. But I'm ordinary. I'm a human just like you. But I'm ordinary. I have feelings too. But I'm ordinary. Just one mistake I made. Now, now my, my reputation, reputation is, is in the shit. shit. But I'm ordinary. I'm a human just like you. But I'm ordinary. but I think they should be treated like everyone else the same normal way. And I said, babe came into this world out of the valley, ever young and lovely girl. Mommy said, what six doors of control had a real rough start in this cruel world. Stretches her arms, begging for love, no mother, no father, even spell hugs for the little bitty baby who had HIV. So they take her hands off for any age in the street. For baby to sleep, no rock for her feet. They sing in the song that we sing in the competition is important because the reality is that we are now living with quite a number of school-aged children who are victims of the virus and because of ignorance they are treated abominably. Well, I live in a neighborhood that a lot of people have AIDS and seeing the discrimination, well at first, at, at first I and all used to like for it to go close. But after seeing that, knowing also that you can't get it by just simply touching or liming around the person, we decide we will sing a calypso. So now I go to confront my destiny. Ooh, and you must know I do so fearlessly. Although I be an innocent victim, why should I force and complain? If the mask can know all day And then to oh, the pain and suffering All I am simply asking for you, my brother Understanding Actually, I had a brother with AIDS So I found it kind of easy to relate his experiences And think about something Ways in which I could help him when I had the chance now that I don't, I like to tell other people about it. I hope that they don't make the same mistakes. My brother, a gangster, a player, was dominated by this pain. Why? He cried. The test read positive. His dreams shattered at age 16. Actually, my neighbor has AIDS, and I treat him normally. I interact with him on an everyday basis, play football with him, etc. Um, et you know. He's still a friend, still a human being. We were friends before, we remain friends after. That was real hot, good for that thing now. Because to see a friend die with AIDS, we learn a lesson from she, because you understand? Okay, well, my piece was written, well, I wrote it with some help from my mom. It's supposed to be a piece written to help to reduce the aid stigma in Trinidad and Tobago. Because currently we have a lot of people in Trinidad and Tobago suffering with this AIDS virus. And the discrimination against them is very great. 
and they are human too. They have rights. They deserve to be treated as normal. She went on to tell me about HIV transmission. Since the people in this country have so much misconception. Some say it's caused by kissing. Mosquitoes even shaking hands. There's so much wrong information in both islands. AIDS can't be caught by ordinary social contact. You could live in the same house with a carrier. It's a very safe act. AIDS can't be caught in school or in the maxi. Neither in the market or workplace. It's not that easy. She said there's no problem with hugging or kissing on the forehead. You could even share towels and sleep on the same bed. I asked her how AIDS is spread before she could go any further. Boy, she had the answer on the tip of her finger. One was unprotected sex with an infected partner. And the other was an unborn baby getting it from its mother. If you use a needle from someone who is already infected, and then remember, blood transfusion policies are not always heeded. Are we having a good morning? Say yeah, yeah. Our third contestant is a whole choir, a choral speaking. A whole set of them. Send them down this way for me. Contestant number three, they're coming to do Open the Door to AIDS, a group presentation from the Patna River Estate Government School representing the Port of Spain and Environs Education District. Put your hands together. Let's welcome contestant number three. Knock, 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 knock. knock. I'm a child. My origins, race. nationality or color do not matter. What matters is this. Rap, 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 I am H, I, V, positive. I have AIDS. Bam, bam, bam. Mr. Aaron Charles from the Torib Trace Presbyterian School coming to do AIDS. AIDS, avoid impulsive disease stigma. Show Aaron some love. Contestant number one. You see me? Look at me. Take a good look at me. Anything wrong with me? Not one thing wrong with me, as far as you could see. But nobody wants to play with me. Nobody wants to sit in my desk. They say it's a big risk. You know why? I have it. You know. I don't blame them for their dread. They don't know how it is spread. They don't know it's not my fault that at birth, this was the result. 
No education plan in place. This ignorance is such a disgrace. As he said in the poem too, education is the key to unlock that door of complacency. I think a, a national-wide education policy is needed. We have Scarborough RC School, our winners for today's national finals. I am H. I represent the human being. I am I. I represent the immune system. I keep her alive. I help her resist disease and infection. I am V. I have a fatal attraction to people. I am transmitted by body fluids and body secretions during sexual intercourse and blood. I invade H. I fool the soldier cells in H's body and I hide there until slowly and surely I penetrate her defense and begin destruction of her immune system. I am AIDS. I have AIDS. It is my immune system that the virus is destroying. How did I get AIDS? Do you think I got it by sharing a drink with someone? No. Did I sit on a seat that another AIDS victim vacated? No. Was I hugged by another victim of AIDS? No. Did I hold their hand? No. Remember, the only way you can get AIDS is by exposing yourself to the body fluids of an AIDS victim. Why then do you scorn me? I'm quite pleased to say that at Scarborough RC School, these, this particular bunch of children have been doing AIDS prevention from Standard 3. So they have been into it for one year already. So it was not difficult to get them into the part at all. We took it from education. If people know, then there would be no need to stigmatize. So that was the whole thing, education. And then if you know, you will understand that just by holding hands or hugging somebody or something like that, you cannot contract the virus. Isolating yourself from AIDS victims is not the answer either. We, we have, have to get involved and show that we care. The movement is on people. Come forward and let us deal with prevention and treatment of AIDS. Join the band and keep AIDS off this land. And thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you, children. We are Caribbean people. And of course, we learn, you know, this is our media, verse and song and dance. And so, and it's a wonderful vehicle by which the children can be taught. I think we should be treated like everyone else, the same normal way. Please, please don't make a fuss. This disease affecting all of us. And it turn up your nose and move away. You make me feel shame and cross a lot of way. We all still have to live as one. One nation under this blessed sun. So come to your hand and walk with me. Like surely we mean love unity. Stay away from sex. Because people just want to rush into it just because their friends and them do it. Don't follow your friends. Your friends and them them don't know what, what they're saying. Them go do it and then after them go suffer these consequences later on in life. So offer your shoulder to ease this drama and do not 
not abandon friends in their darkest hour. Everyone, be protected, use condoms, and try and stay away from that disease. Talk to me, don't show me scorn for my life is already torn. Abstain, if you can't abstain, be safe, at least be safe. Imagine if you was in my place when nobody wanted to see your face. Yes. Having AIDS doesn't change anything about the personality, the same person. Make a difference, change your attitude for the cannibal. AIDS is a thing you have to be careful of. When you're making love or sex, make sure and you do it the right way. Don't have no other sex but the one you are making love with. Remember, peace out from AIDS. It's just no joke. Let us all do something and combat this disease. Love one another and join the festival. But it's just ramp and strong as elephant. You won't get it fast. Uh -huh. Play your mask. We're pushing the virus. Play your mask.